can you put your finger on in terms of what needs to change defensively earlier in ball games? Um, I really don't know, but um, you don't know about defense. You um, don't know. If we don't come out and play defense, we're going to keep getting smacked like this. Oh, no, you're going to keep getting raped, boy. Um, comes with effort. This man, Derek Wolf, playing de better defense in court, man. man. Well, um, you know, it's almost like, uh, uh, you know, we let James do whatever he wanted. Oh, no uh, shit. This man came in to pay, pay in every possession, bro. Without a, doubt. Without a doubt. This is coming from a score, by the way. Uh, I don't think kind of what we showed. You know, these past two nights is any indication of who we are, who we will be as a team. It's just a matter of kind of just doing it and, you know, putting forth the effort out there. Say it with me, folks. Here we go again. Same old shit, just a brand new day. Here we go again. You know the rules of the game when we play how we play. Now, the Warriors trashed the Thunder night last night, and a lot of people are talking, listen, man, it's just one game. Relax. Take it easy, man. We already know the Warriors are going to make it to the finals. Let's be real about it. But let's talk about my New York Knicks, right? So, uh, blown out by the Rockets. Again. And mainly the problem is the defense. Now, Derrick Rose says he doesn't know what the problem is. Everybody on the Knicks knows what the problem is, man. No excuses. It's the defense, man. It's the defense. I mean, like I said, man, Derrick Rose is playing better defense in the court case than on the court. Now, Derrick Rose looks good on offense. Uh, but looking at that game, man, I mean, listen, the defense was very, very atrocious. Like, I, I don't I don't know what to say about it. Like, literally, James Harden was getting to the rack, drawing fouls. They're shooting threes out there of Ryan Anderson. You know, we're turning the ball over. We're not getting any offensive flow as well because of our terrible defense. And, like, they, they really just lit us up. I mean, in the first half, they almost have, for God's sake, 70 points in the first half. Again, after we just faced the Pistons, they gave up, like, 64 to 66 points in the first half. It's inexcusable. I don't know if it's the coaching on defense. It's got to be something because I know we got Joakim Noah right there. By the way, Porzingis is kind of lost on defense. I don't know what's going on with him, but tonight we face the Chicago Bulls, and it's going to be a away game, so this is going to be tough, man. I mean, if we lose this game, we're going to be 1-4. and four. We face the Utah Jazz on, on Sunday, but I mean, yo, this is going to be a tough-ass game, man. I'm t like, 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 some people are underrating the Bulls. Listen, I don't underrate. I don't, like, listen, the Bulls are a, a, a solid team, man. Dwayne Wade, oh, man, that, that could be a problem for it, itself, but I don't know how the Knicks are going to play, bro. I mean, I just don't know what I'm going to get from this team. It's, it's crazy. I mean, you see the way the Knicks play versus the Rockets, and it's just no communication on defense. And by the way, like I've been doing, I've been reading books, and this book is uh, Thinking Fast and Slow, which is a good book. You should check it out. It's on Amazon. But anyways, right, let's talk about this, right? Your body has two types of system. One is an automatic system that does things, you know, automatically. Like, you know, sometimes you're, one plus two is an automatic thought. You, you already know it's three. And then you got the second part of the system uh, of your brain where you actually have to think critically. And, you know, in a fast environment like the NBA, which is a fast-paced game, it's not like the NFL, it's not like baseball, which are slower sports. You know, you got to be thinking like that. You got to be thinking quickly because there's only 24 seconds in a shot clock and the ball's moving and everyone's moving and there's some different pieces moving. It's going quick. And you see the Knicks, the Knicks are taking a little bit too long to think about what's going on in the court. And this is just my theory uh, of the defense because uh, you think about this, right? A pick and roll is set, right? A pick and roll is happening on, on the other team. And, uh, you know, the Knicks have two choices. They can either switch or hedge or do whatever they need to do. But unfortunately, our team is processing things so slow on the defense. We don't know what Carmelo's going to do. Derrick Rose doesn't know what Joe Kim Noah is going to do. Porzingis doesn't know what's, what Carmelo is going to do. So you got all these types of miscommunications and no one's talking. No one's saying anything. So people are, are not thinking fast enough. And then they don't, they don't understand. They don't know their teammates, uh, you know, uh, you know, roles. And they don't know their teammates. What you call that? What did they call that again? They are usually... Uh, ability stuff like that so when you're on the court and like let's say I'm playing with someone like too cool 
Like, he already knows I'm going to help him on plays, man. I'm, I'm, I'm going to help him on defense. If we if there's a screen, I'm going to help him out greatly. And he knows that that's what I'm going to do. So, he already knows how to play. The Knicks don't know how to do that yet. And it's the same thing like the NFL in an offensive line. Cowboys have the best offensive line in the NFL. Offensive linemen, five offensive linemen. Sometimes you get six when the tight end's blocking. But five offensive linemen blocking, right? So... You could take a good average offensive line and make it a great offensive line just by knowing each other's like positioning and spacing and stuff like that. Just knowing each other's roles and stuff like that. So, you know, the Cowboys have a good offensive line, not because, you know, they they have talent, but their talent and the way they play together on that offensive line, they, the way they know how to block together, double team blocking, all that stuff, run blocking, pass blocking, they do a great job because they know each other, man. So the Knicks are gonna have to find each other out uh, on defense, and I'm telling you, man, it's all about thinking, man. They gotta think, and I don't know what's going on in practice, but there's gotta be a lot more reaction time. Their reaction speeds gotta increase and stuff like that. But listen, man. Bottom line is, I know it's only four games in the season, so I'm still gonna give my reserves about the Knicks, but they do look terrible. Let's not lie, they do look terrible. Nothing to lie about. I want to see Kuzminkis play. I mean, he hasn't even played. I don't even think he played any, a single game yet. Ron Baker actually checked in on the Rockets, but it was already too late. That game was already over. And I want to see more ball movement from the Knicks, man. I mean, we don't need ISO ball, man. I mean, honestly, we need to move away from ISO ball. And by the way, did you see Carmelo Anthony's post on Instagram? I wish I could find it. I think I actually took a picture of it when I was on the train. But literally, man, I, I mean, Carmelo said he was talking about the Knicks. Boy, who else you talking about, boy? Like, who else? Stop it. Stop it. So, come out on Anthony. I don't know if you can see this, but he posted a post on Instagram uh, saying, like, you know, everyone won't have the vision. It's just to say that a lot of people want to complain, but they don't want anything to do with their situation. I mean, we don't know what he's talking about, but we obviously know it's something about the Knicks, but I don't know. Listen, this team's got to get it together, bro, because after this weekend... If we're what? After this game, if we lose this game versus the Bulls and then we lose on Sunday and we're one in five. If we're one in five after this weekend, bro, heads are gonna be turned on loose, bro. I mean, I'm not saying it's time to panic, but you know, if you got a panic button, I, it might be start time to press it. And by the way, if the Knicks happen to play be still be playing like this by the middle of the season. A change has to happen, man. I don't know. Maybe Phil Jackson's got to go. Maybe James Dolan got to step down. But something. I mean, something needs to happen. But anyways, I'm off for now. By the way, bananas are good for you. Apples are good for you. Grapes are good for you. Start eating healthy fresh because, uh, you know, your boy Waffle's also learning how to cook too. So, yeah, start learning stuff, man. I mean, it's good to learn. You, you get to see how life is, is different and see how people view things. But anyways, I'm off for now. Leave your thoughts in the comment section. What do you think about the Knicks? And peace.